Dear Sarah, here's a question. Is the selfie the modern equivalent of a sonnet? This comment came up in class and we didn't really get time to delve into it, so I'm gonna. Well, let's start with, what is a selfie? There's this really cool video by the PBS Idea channel on the selfie, and surprisingly it's got some pretty insightful thoughts. Take a look at it, it's not too long and it's really interesting. Mike from the video says that the selfie is the perfect hybridization of photography and social media. It's a small piece of text, and I mean text in the broadest definition, that conveys a meaning, thought, or a moment. And in this sense, a selfie is like a sonnet. I think this is what we were getting at in class. It's a lot of content in a small format. A sonnet, as far as Elizabethan poetry goes, is the most efficient form in terms of meaning density per word. The form forces the poet to be concise not only by its short length, but by its restrictive rules. This is because there are implied thematic expectations in the three quatrain couplet form. This leads to a kind of argument and conclusion, or speech and response motif that helps compact a ton of information into a small space. And that's where we see another similarity. Both sonnets and selfies come with certain expectations. You know, sonnets have their rules, 14 lines, iambic pentameter, Shakespearean or Petrarchan, etc. And then we have selfies. Sometimes they're vain, sometimes they're not. Um, either in front of a mirror or with your arms stretched out in front of you like this. Maybe there's something important in the background or maybe there's somebody in the frame with you. And more often than not, you're expressing your current emotion in that moment. Okay, so both sonnets and selfies have their rules, so they must be the same, right? Well, not quite. I'm gonna play devil's advocate because I personally don't think selfies and sonnets are all that similar. And here's why. First off, Mike in his video distinguishes between an art form and a speech act. A speech act is some kind of performance, whether it's oral, visual, or whatever, that conveys some sort of message from one person to another. This means all art forms are speech acts, but not all speech acts are art forms. For example, sending an emoticon is a speech act, but I wouldn't quite call it art. So in that sense, I don't believe most selfies are artistic in the way that sonnets are. I think this is a key difference because the status of art form is so inherently important to our understanding of the sonnet. If we didn't think of sonnets as artistic, I don't think we would hold them to the same esteem that we currently do. So I don't think it's fair to properly compare sonnets to something that we rarely if ever consider artistic. Now don't get me wrong, I think it is possible to have artistic selfies. I've added a link to this cool art project that's reinterpreted famous photos in history as selfies. It's really neat in the sense that it changes the way that we see these big moments in history. And personally, I don't dislike selfies. I take them all the time. And the PBS video has this quote that says, Selfies strongly suggest that the world we observe is more interesting when people insert themselves into it. And this is true. Not only are we the observers of our world, but we are participants in it as we depict it. Perhaps in this sense, the whole selfie phenomenon is this artistic expression by humankind asserting its presence in the world. But, unless you're talking about Ellen's epic Oscar selfie, I don't think there's a whole lot of artistic value in each individual selfie. But hey, let's say just for fun that selfies are the modern sonnet. Well, does that make Instagram the modern sonnet sequence? Could selfies also be a kind of ode to oneself? What do you think about the sonnet as a selfie? Leave a comment below, and I'll see you on Tuesday.